Hello everyone, this is Dr. Noob Slayer again, and we are continuing the Knights of the Old Republic series. Hopefully I don't get killed off this time. No guarantees, no promises, but... Going off past evidence, I will probably end up being killed off here. Huh. I just thought I could just toss a grenade in there. Since Darth is, uh, gone. But now since he... Okay, wow, though. Okay, I doubt that grenade will do any damage. Ready. Absolutely not whatsoever. Yes, we've singled out the albino one. He's not over here. That was main. That was main. That was a main issue in the last fight. Oh, this makes it much easier. Down you go. <sighs> Why was this so hard before? Yes. And all that's left is the albino one, which did not get included in this fight. Okay. Cure. Fair enough for another one? No, it takes about half. I can't move. Okay, that's not good. And I can't even target him. Yeah. Okay, Candorus, can you come over here and target this guy? Power blast. Oh, this is gonna be fun. Ah, now he goes in action. Okay, at least he's up there. Karth, power blast. One Darth is down. Stop. Listen, he's point blank. He's in your face. If I leave, I'm gonna be pissed. Thank you, Charth. Candor's can tank. More than my main character can in my. Might just be the armor. I think it might just be the armor. Any stuff over here? Nope. No stuff over here. Uh, move! Wow. Yes? Can you move now? No, you can't. Ready. Okay, back to Karth. I'll probably just save. Good idea. Alright. Be sure to save after something dangerous and before you do something stupid. A rule that I do not follow often enough. Or once you get to a point where it would be annoying to redo all that part that you just did. That could probably have been worded a lot better, but eh, no well. Huh. Appears I was on some sort of farm ish sort of place. Oh I think I know what this place is. Between the sand drill ah uh... This is private property. By what authority are you trespassing on this estate? Yeah, I'm sorry, I'll just be doing it now. My orders are clear. Please leave immediately. Only those on official family business are permitted on the family's land. Of course. It's a family feud between the sandals and the... I want to say tamales, but those are... It's not the tamales. Those are a food, and that is not the right... It's the, uh... It starts with the T... And, uh, why can't I think? Oh, it's been years since I've played this, but. Sandrills and the. Ah, uh, it's the other family name. Back to the Grove. I doubt that I could, uh, convince you, honey. Oh, crap. Hello. Everyone rushing to my face to try and. destroy me. Let's go! This is what I. Do. Oh, that was a level up crap on my main character. This is not good. At least I have a level up. That's not that bad. Okay, Candor's pop melee shield. You're gonna need it. Power blast away. You're dead. Uh, definitely made it a lot easier. So as soon as if I get low enough, I can just, uh, level up. Damn, Candor's can tank like a boss. That's my tankiest character. He's tankier than my droid. Everyone good? We're good? Alright, everyone's fine. What? Darth, you level up now. 
Skills. Demolitions is 7. Persuade. Ah! Persuade. Let's bump that up. Maybe we can convince you, homie. And... Ooh! Effect mind. There we go. That also might help. Okay, I got two additional persuasion... points-ish thing. One's a force power, and the other one is just a extra point. What is that? Is that a... Oh, that's this. I was hoping to avoid this for... Okay, I can't do that. Uh, I'll just have some matches later. Time to see if I can assist Ju Juani. Yes, your arrival is well-timed. Who are you? He's a Jedi from the Enclave. Yes, I do not have time for this at the moment, but I'll be back as soon as I do. <sighs> Alright, I have reconsidered since I don't know if I can revisit this if I reject his offer right now. Counts three participants. These three men were out here in the field together. Four, the clouds broke. All right. Alright, I will begin my investigation at once. Alright. Murder mystery. Let's get to it. Another Jedi, huh? Helping that Twi'lek investigate, no doubt. He seems stumped. I'm Rickard Lusoff. Maybe you can figure this out and let me get out of here. Yeah, but first you need to tell me what happened. Well, I was out hunting Eriaz when I spotted one over here by the bridge. I pull out my rifle and aim at it. I couldn't see it that well, mind you, because the damn sun was in my eyes. Wrong, so it was cloudy. It dropped. I walk over here and find Handed standing over Calder's body. So why don't you get this whole farce over with and send that whiner Handed to the prison he belongs in? Huh. Couldn't have fired the shot because... The sun couldn't have been your eye in your eyes because it was cloudy this morning. Huh. Greetings. You must be assisting Master Baluk in his investigation. I'm yes. Handed Gould. Perhaps you've heard of me? Nope. Well, I presume you wish to hear my story, then. I shall tell you, of course, but there's not much to it. I'm sure that you'll agree that Rickard is quite obviously guilty of murder. You see, I was out here running earlier today. Yes, running. I do that a lot. Can't stand speeders, never use them. Keeps me in shape, too, you know. Anyway, I was out running on the other side of that bridge there, and all of a sudden I heard a shot coming from over here. I ran over and found this man Calder lying on the ground, dead. Huh, did you see the killer? I saw Rickard come skulking out of the shadows of the rocks south of the river, and I knew something was wrong. I hit my emergency button and called the Enclave right away. Well, there. That's my story. Now, please hurry this up and arrest Rickard so I can get on with my day. Huh. Alright. Greetings, apprentice. You must be the one Master Baluk has enlisted to help him with this problem. I am an information retrieval droid. I can assist you by accessing the records of both the Jedi Enclave and the central government facilities here on Dantooine. If you have any need of my services, please do not hesitate to talk to me. I have already retrieved some information from the archives on Goldenetic, Rickard Lusoff, and Handan Gould. I have also had time to examine the body of Mr. Netic. Is there any information you require? Yes, what did you find out about the body? My preliminary analysis of the body indicates that he was killed approximately three hours ago by a single energy blast to the torso. Is there any other information you need? 
What, uh, can you tell me about these planes? These planes are rife with wild animals, not all of them benign. The Irias are mostly docile, but can easily be provoked to violence. Calf hounds, on the other hand, are much more deadly. There have been over 35 catalogued attacks on settlers by calf hounds in the last two weeks. A general advisory was given out three days ago to carry a weapon at all times when on the plains. Small farms and holdings dot the plains and can provide safe refuge for those in need. Is there any other information you need? Oh, I have more questions later. Very well. I will be here to assist you. Thank you. Oh, okay, let's... I have a little bit... I kind of have an idea. Yes, I want to discuss this murder. Do not know. I actually do believe that Ricker is lying. Never mind. Let's try this again. Ricker is lying. There, it was cloudy. There was no sun glare. Alright, what else is there to this case? So, what do you want to know? Yes, did you know the victim? Yeah, I knew him. Hell, we've known each other for a good long time. Doesn't mean I really have to have liked the slime ball. <sighs> Maybe I shouldn't be so hard on him. Especially now that he's dead. We actually got along pretty well most of the time. We just had our differences. We were actually business partners. We were involved in some orbit-to-ground transport operations for Aerotech. Can I leave now? I should probably be the one to give the news to his wife. Yes, I want to ask you something else, though. So, what do you want to know? Why were you out here again? I told you already, didn't I? Was hunting some eerie ass. Haven't seen many in the area recently, but with those calf hounds acting up. But they're still around. Was in my blind a little south of here when I spotted one, like I said before. I shot, and pow, it went down. But when I come over here, there's Handon standing over the body, and the Eriaz was gone. Now, I don't have nothing to do with this, so can I go now? Not just yet. Ah. So, what do you want to know? He said, uh, but looks like you were limping. Are you hurt? Well, kind of sprained my ankle running through the bush before I found the body, but it's nothing that serious. Yeah, that's all for now. Right. Wait, there might be something else. So, why would someone want to kill him? You Jedi are so predictable, always seeing some greater purpose behind everything, when the simple answer is usually the right one. Can't you see that it must have been Handon? I found him standing over the damned body. I don't know why this is causing you so much trouble. You almost seem as lost as this Baluk guy. Yeah, but I want to ask you something else. So? Actually, no, there's nothing out right now. Right. Let's see the other side of the story. How can I be of further assistance? Did you know him? I knew him a little bit, but I was not any sort of great friend to him or anything. I never really associated with him that much. In truth, I didn't really want to. He had a reputation. A very inconsiderate of family, I heard. But merely having heard unkind things about someone wouldn't make me want to kill him. No one says you killed him yet. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm getting a bit agitated. Why must we remain here? Can't you see that Rickard must have shot him? Uh, yeah, but I want to ask you something else first. How can I be of further assistance? Why exactly were you out here? I was taking my daily constitutional. I just happened to be running by when I heard a shot. I ran over and found Calder's body lying there. You often run around the plains? Yes, quite often. I generally prefer running to anything else. Can't stand speeders. A healthy body will breed a healthy mind, as I always say. <laughs> but you're holding your side. Are you injured? In injured? No, of course not. Why would I have been? Fit as a bathtub. <laughs> I run. I don't know if I mentioned that. 
Yeah, I want to ask you something else. How can I be of further assistance? Actually, that's it for now. Of course, of course. See if uh, we have any information from the, en from the Enclave. Is there any other information you need? Yes, what can you tell me about Calder and Handed? The Southwood Speeder rental business has records that over the past seven weeks, a speeder had been rented by Mr. Nettick and Mr. Gould. Is there any other information you need? Can you tell me about Calder and Richard? According to the municipal authorities near the Garen spaceport, there had been news of violent drunken activity in a cantina attached to the port. Apparently, a Mr. R. Lusoff was making accusations at a Mr. C. Nettick about cheating him in a business deal. Jedi Tuka was dispatched to the scene and restored order. Is there any other information you need? Mm, anything else you found out about the body? My preliminary analysis of the body indicates that he was killed. Is there any... That's about it. Very well. I will be here too. Alright. Oh. I want to discuss the murder. Huh. Record is lying. Oh. They had a fight over business matters. Alright, well, ask the end. So, what do you want to know? What about this weapon that was found by the body? That blaster? Never seen it before. Calder himself had a preference for Ichani weaponry. He had this one really nice light blaster rifle that he always used. Always wished I could get myself a rifle like the one he had. Ichanis make delicate weapons with too little firepower. Lightweight stuff, if you ask me. That blaster ain't it, though. Calder only had the one rifle, too. So he either must have borrowed that, or it's someone else's. Yeah, I want to ask you something else. So, what do you want to know? You thought Calder was cheating you. Now, I don't love Calder, but we go back a long way. We run a suborbital shipping and transport company out of Garang Spaceport. We've been partners in that business for well over 20 years, and we've been doing just fine the way we are. Yeah, but you can deny it, but there was some bad blood between you. Right. Okay, any other options? So, what you... Uh... Why would someone want to kill him? You Jedi are so. I don't know did this. Right. How can I be of further assistance? What do you know about this weapon found by the body? That blaster was stolen from my house last week. I never knew what happened to it. I hardly have enough money to afford a single blaster, let alone another. I can't tell you how important it is to have a weapon on hand with all these ravenous cat hounds around. Even an eerie can take a man down if it gets in the mood. Every settler has a weapon. It's our most prized possession. I would most appreciate it if I could have that back after you determine that Rickard is the killer. How can I be of further assistance? Oh, I think I have an idea of who did it. But I will continue my investigation. Uh, you need Calder better than anyone, you admit, but because you rented a speeder with him, you don't just do that with a stranger. But I, I realize this must seem like a motive to you, but I assure you it isn't. I dislike Calder, true. I would punch his face in, given the opportunity, but I would not kill him. Punch his face in? Why? My wife was cheating on me with him. He slept in my own bed while I was in the next room. But, as much as I may hate him for that, I could not kill him. It may have been my own fault for driving my wife away. I must try not to take the law into my own hands. I was just out running, trying to clear my head for the divorce proceedings, not stalking him to kill him. Running is not a crime. No, running is not a crime. Of course, of course. All right, I have an idea. And then you came over, shot him. Then, when the uh, blind, uh, when he was blinded, Rickard fired, hit Handon in the side, and that's why Handon is limping. And that's it. Uh, I want to discuss the murder. Uh. 
The blaster is Hammond's, but he reported it stolen. We get more information on the blaster. Ah, oh, that's right. I did not speak with the droid yet. Is there any other information you need? Yes, is there a report of Hand's blaster being stolen? I am sorry, but I seem to be failing you. I have searched and searched, but I cannot seem to come up with anything at all. I think really? I find the record of the missing weapon report. Mr. Gould filed with the authorities, but there does not seem to be one. Is there any other information you need? Ah, can you tell me about this weapon found at the scene? I am sorry. Oh, wrong. Uh, is there we cannot get any more specific analysis from that sample, other than the fact he did not belong to Gorda. Is there any other information you need? Nope. Very well. Aha! Uh -huh. The blaster's hand is he lied to it about being stolen. Yes, I will inquire with the droid. Karth moves out of the way. Is there any other information you need? Yes, tell me about this blood sample that we have. I have just received back an analysis of a sample of the blood found on the weapon. It had been sent back to the enclave just before you arrived. The blood on the weapon is definitely not called us. Unfortunately, there was a bacterial contaminant in the sample that had been taken back to the laboratory, and it had become degraded. We cannot get any more specific analysis from that sample, other than the fact it did not belong to Calder. Is there any other information you need? Nope. I know who did it. Very well. It How was Hendon. You, you wanted to kill Calder for having an affair with your wife. Knock his block off, maybe, sure, but not kill him. Um, uh, I hope you don't find that incriminating. You know, normally I'm not prone to outbursts like that, but Calder... Mr. Nedick, he was not a very nice person. Not a very nice person to me or my family. I had had my suspicions for several weeks, but had no proof until two days ago. It seems Calder was seeing my wife, right under my nose, no less. Well, if you can't keep her, it's your own fault. But, as much as I may hate him for that, I could not kill him. It may have been my own fault for dr I was just out running, trying to clip. Of course. Did not belong to the victim. It was Hamden. He's clutching his side. Hey, 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 what are you doing? I agree. Good. Good. I assume I am permitted to leave now? Nope. Wait, wait, wait. Did I just do that backwards? What? No, damn it. Crap, I screwed it up. I did the wrong person. Oh shit, after all that. No! No, if I'm going, I'm gonna take him with me. You don't know anything about what happened. Uh. What do you mean? Yeah, I came out here to kill Calder. The hut spawn was funneling credits from our business, and we were going under because of it. But if I'm getting caught, I'm not going to go down by myself. You two idiots let the real killer go. Yes, I picked the wrong option. Yes, you green skinned nerf herder. It's orange. I came out here to kill Kong. And when I saw someone over by the bridge, I shot him. But Handon had already killed him. <sighs> well, crap. I did the entire thing, knew the 
which uh, made the entire thing, but I picked the wrong option at the end, and therefore, oh crap, it got, yep, that was it. Well, this is a longer episode than usual, actually about 25 minutes, wow. Uh, thanks for watching, please leave a like if you liked the video, subscribe if you want to see more of these, leave me a comment in the comment section below or on Facebook and Twitter, and I will see you next time.